video of Vlogmas Bootcamp, we are going to be talking about how to make a budget. This person needs a move, okay? This person needs a downside, because if they only bring in $1,500 a month, they are gonna be evicted. Oh, it is a rainy day in Atlanta today. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, a rainy day, December 1st. It's starting off nasty. Oh. It started off nasty? What? <laughs> hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. So, it's morning, but it is so dark today. It's so gloomy. Um, I was going to let the kids say hi, but y'all can't even see them. So, uh, yeah, I guess y'all have to see them another time. But good morning. Have a good day. <laughs> there she goes off to school. Y'all, oh my gosh. This girl, she always dressing crazy. But, um, I, I literally have to drop her off at school every day because I don't know what's going on with the, um, public bus transportation system for um her school but it's terrible like them kids she would literally be late to school every single day in the evenings they don't pick them up on time them kids be sitting out here for like 30 minutes after school is out waiting on the bus so that's why i gotta just drop her off and pick her up every day because if not she'd just be basically stranded waiting constantly every single day not knowing when the bus gonna come it's bad y'all they need bus drivers if y'all need a job in atlanta think really consider um helping out the school district and signing up to be a bus driver i don't know if you need your cdl i don't know what you need to be a bus driver but they desperately need bus drivers i have never seen nothing like this where the bus supposed to come at a certain time and it don't come to like 30 minutes later every day almost every other day so but anyway okay y'all real quick before we get into like the main part of this video i wanted to come start my day at walmart i need to get a few things that i forgot to get yesterday i'm so mad that i made it all the way home yesterday without the stuff that i need today i'm gonna start my day and get everything i need i think that's what i'm gonna start doing because in the evenings like after i pick the kids up i, I, I can't remember anything plus i'll be tired so i think i'm gonna start doing like little errands first thing in the morning um early before i even start work okay so i need some pull-ups for stars i need some paper towels y'all i'm on a budget i'm on a tight budget for this christmas so we trying to save coins. And then I'm going to get some toilet paper. <sighs> so um, what else? What else? What else? Trying to think. Oh, I need two pieces. Okay, I got the goods and I'm headed home. It's not even nine o'clock yet. I'm doing good. Okay, y'all, so real quick, let me get into the purpose of this video. So on today's video of Vlogmas Bootcamp, we are going to be talking about how to make a budget. Yes, a budget for 2024 is a must have, y'all. Let me tell you. So sometime, I think it was in 22, is when I actually created my first, was when I created my budget, like late 22, and then it carried over into 23. And I can honestly say that I stuck to my budget from January to December. I could literally pull it up right now on my computer and show it to y'all. So it is so effective. It has helped me so much. It takes the thinking out of paying your bills. You will never miss a bill. You will know how much money you need. Um, how much money you can save like too many people and y'all please drop down in the comments we got to talk about this a lot of people do not have a budget a lot of people um are living paycheck to paycheck but they're not even looking at their bank account they're not checking their balances we just and i've been guilty of it that's why i know i can speak on it because i'm just going in swiping did it go through if you at the checkout counter 
wondering, hoping, is it gonna go through? And if it and if it go through, you like, yes. And then if it don't go through, you like, oh, let me get my credit card. Let me pull out my other card. Let me, you just swiping until one of them go through. This is, this is the video for you. Like we have to get serious with our finances in 2024. Like that's like one major thing of getting your life together. Like you, you gotta get your finances in order, sis, period. Um, and while I'm talking to y'all, I'm finna, I'm making my breakfast. I already got my eggs. I'm finna make some sausage. I found this turkey sausage at uh, Publix. And it's the kind that you cut. So it's given like pork sausage, but it's really turkey sausage um, by Genie O. So I'm excited. It's really good too. But, um, so let me cut this up and put it in here real quick. Um, so let me tell y'all the passion. So y'all know, y'all may or may not know, but my, I have a degree in finance. And I mostly work in accounting because I am really good with numbers. When I was in high school, I um, originally wanted to go to school to be a math teacher. I wanted to go to school to be a math teacher because all throughout school, I was noticing how like math was, I'm not going to say it was easy for me, but like compared to my, the people sitting next to me and people in the class, I felt like soon as the teacher like showed us something new i'm like oh okay and i could quickly understand it i could i just i caught on so easily compared to other people i'm already doing my work and people still asking questions so i started to realize that i'm like oh wow um and a lot of people just are not good with math like a lot of people just it's just not their strong subject right but it comes so easy to me and so I think it's something, and, and they don't teach you how to make a budget. They don't talk about your checking account in school. Like, this is not something that people teach you. This is not, and it's so important, y'all. When I tell, when I show y'all my budget, that's what we finna do next. But I wanted to, like, um, prep y'all. This is like a preface, right, of what we finna do before we really jump into it. So I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna show y'all exactly step by step how to do it and what you need to do. I'll say it's maybe about four four to five different steps that we're going to do but it, it just comes from like it, I, it just come natural to me and I feel like so many people need this um in their life that's what accounting is it's basically keeping track of what you spent um what you have left over is it and and so but people's personal life people don't people don't treat their personal life like a business People don't treat their checking account like a business account, but really you should. You you need to keep track of what you're spending. Like you just need to keep track of everything um, in order to possibly save money. Because once you realize what your budget is and then you compare that to what you are making, then, then you can start making some decisions. And that's what we're going to talk about, y'all. But let me get this done. It's 10, 20 my time. I have an 11 a.m. zoom so i gotta hurry up and get my breakfast done eat and then i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna show y'all the budget after my zoom like this afternoon or whatever i wanted to do this as one of my first videos because i feel like especially for christmas you need to know how much money you got sis if you only got 250 to spend on gifts but you promised to be a part of um giving to your friends, giving to your co-workers, giving to your nieces, yeah, yeah, all this, you can't afford it. You can't afford it. Or you need to know, okay, I only got 250 I can only buy $10 gifts for all my 25 people. Like, we, this needs to be established now, okay? We, we, we got to get this figured out. We're not finna just blindly spend all our money and then come January 1st, we like, oh my God, like, oh my God, I'm negative 1000 how did I get negative 1,000? I'm telling you, sis, if you knew you was going to be negative 1,000, you probably wouldn't have bought that TV. Or you probably wouldn't have, you know what I'm saying? That's why you got to pay attention to the numbers because I guarantee you will make different decisions. Okay, y'all, so this is how it turned out. I almost ate all my eggs, but I decided to go ahead and add a bagel. I don't need this bagel. We're going to talk about that, but... I added a bagel. So anyway, but while I'm sitting here at my computer, I wanted to show y'all this. Um, so you can kind of get an idea once we get started. But this is um, a list of all my, I just, I put creditor, but these are all my bills, right? So I put a list of all my bills and this was, so at this time I had, it go down to 24 minus two. So this, I had 22 bills per month. 
And that actually seemed like a lot. So that's going to be the first step, y'all, that we're going to do is you need to literally list all of your bills, every single one. I don't care if it's like I literally had my P.O. box. I had um, like Disney Plus. Um, it doesn't matter how small it is. Uh, Netflix, them little bills do add up. I don't care if it's $2.99. I don't care if it's... Um, because I pay for extra storage on my iCloud. I pay for extra space on my Gmail. So I don't care if it's $2.99, $1.99. I don't care what the bill is. If it's coming through every month, it needs to be on the list. Okay? We need a solid list of all your bills. And it's hard to even remember. And honestly, you might not even know what all bills you have until you look at your bank statement if you don't have a bank account then that's step number one you need to get a bank account number one or just something that you can see your activity month after month go through write it down if you see it's coming in every month that's why i said go back maybe two months because you could have had something that came through but it's not every month like if you sent somebody a 5.99 super chat on youtube one month but you didn't do it this month or whatever like i'm not talking about stuff like that i'm talking about stuff that's has to be paid and it has a due date if it has a due date it needs to be on this list right i have a lot less bills now because once i went through this list i was like okay what we finna get rid of because uh I i'm not gonna be able to do it okay y'all so let's get started so before we get started i want to let y'all know that i am going to be coming out with an ebook so I'm um, already started. I'm hope I'm hoping to make it available by December 8th. It's supposed to be my launch date. But y'all, I'm making a how to budget ebook to help y'all with budgeting for 2024. This right here is just gonna be like a brief, brief, brief. Y'all know brief, 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 brief um example of how to do it but if you're really interested and you want to like really get serious about it y'all check out my ebook i'm gonna be promoting it for the rest of the week until friday and so i'm i'm really excited about this um so let's just jump into it so i'm gonna try to i had to do a visual because i know a lot of people are um visual learners you know it's kind of hard to just sit there and listen to somebody but if you see it it will kind of resonate with you so this is just a basic way to get started for your budget so let's put budget 2024 so this is what we're gonna do so the first the first thing that you're gonna do is list out your bills right so let's say you have rent, car note, phone, and your credit card, right? Next, so we're just gonna we're just gonna do let's do December and January. So we're gonna put this into a nice little spreadsheet okay we're gonna say december right and when you do it either way you do it um I, what i want you to do is put your bills in order based on their due date right so next but so let's pretend that these are in order of the due date that's going to be important but so next you're going to put the amount so let's say your rent is 1500 your car note is 500 your phone bill is 100 and your credit card 100 right so right off the bat you know that per month you need that's two thousand that's twenty two hundred dollars right this at the basic level is a budget right 
And believe it or not, a lot of people may not even do this. A lot of people, they might do it in their head. They might be like, oh, let me see. Dun, 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 dun. You're doing the math in your head, but you have to write it down. Like in 2024, y'all, we got to start writing stuff down. We got to see it to, to like really understand what's going on. Here. So, right? This lets you know, hey, I at least need $2,200 a month to cover my bills, right? So let's say you're making, um, let's say, let's say you're making three, $3,000 a month. Let's say you only making $3,000 a month. This lets you know right off the top that, Hey, I only have $800 to play with per month. And we know that that's going to get ate up with get Cause gas is not really a bill. I like, I literally only want you to put the bills that are due because in essence, that's really the only thing you have to worry about. Like if you lost, let's say, cause let's say if you lost your job tomorrow, you, you can, you can survive. You probably could survive without gas. You probably could survive without going out to eat. You probably could survive without getting your hair done, getting your nails done, right? Those things, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the things that have a due date. That's what we want to know because that is what is important and that is the priority and that is what needs to be paid right before anything. Because like I said, if something happened and you break your leg, you know that you, you can sit at home and watch TV for the next 30 days without getting up as long as you got $2,200. You see what I'm saying? So let's put the due dates. So, and this is important. So let's say the rent, we all know the rent is due on the first. So you're not getting past that. So 12-1, right? So right here we put due date, okay? So let's say your rent is due on the first, your dang on car note coming through on the fourth, your cell phone might not be due until the 12th, Okay, and then let's say your credit card not due to the end of the month, which is, let's say the 28th. Now, why is this important? The due date is important because this lets you know how much time you got to pay these bills. For the people that are working a basic nine to five, you're getting paid every two weeks, you are um, getting paid bi-weekly, this is important because this lets you know, okay, hey, Let's say, because most jobs, you, you roughly, you get paid toward the beginning of the month and the end of the month, roughly, basically, right? So this lets you know, hey, out that first paycheck, all I really need is 2000 out that first paycheck, right? I need 2000 out my first paycheck to cover my, my bills. But now again, if you, now remember we said, if you, now, but if it was, see, if you're only making $3,000 a month, like we said, then that means you only probably making about $1,500 every two weeks. And if that's the case, you might be in over your head. If, if you're only bringing in $1,500 every two weeks, it's no way your rent should be $1,500. You know what I'm saying? That's why the budget is important because it starts to, bring to light some of the issues that people that like this why you might have money problems or this why why you might always be in the hole why you can't save no money why you always late on your bills why you always short on your bills because just the basic math it's not mathing it doesn't make sense the way you got your stuff set up if you only bringing in 1500 you can't afford 1500 dollars a month in rent because your whole paycheck can't even cover that. And even if it do, now you broke, you don't have no more money for the rest of the two weeks. That doesn't make sense, right? So that's why, that's the number one reason why it's important to make a budget to determine, can I afford this? Where do I need to cut costs at? This person need to move, okay? This person need to downsize because if they only bringing in $1,500 a month, they going to be evicted. <laughs> okay or they're gonna be borrowing they're gonna be getting payday loans they're gonna be hey ma can you can you send me 300 i'm short well of course you short you you never had it you never had it right but this is why this is important 
So let's so let's try to be a little bit more realistic, right? Let's say you're making five thousand dollars a month. So you're bringing in roughly twenty five hundred dollars every two weeks. Now, with that being said, if you're bringing in twenty five hundred that first week and your bills is two thousand, that lets you know, hey, I only got five hundred to play with until I get paid again, right? So that lets you know that you know. Can, can I get my hair done? Can I get my neck? Like all this stuff add up and it eats your money up so quick. But that's why you have to have a budget so that you'll know what can I do for these next two weeks. Maybe I won't go out to eat this month. Maybe I'll do my own hair. That's when you have to start making these decisions because maybe you want to save your money. What if you want to save for Christmas out of every check? If you want to save it, let's say, so you're making $2,500. You got to spend $2,000 right out the gate. You only got 500 left and y'all, I'm sorry if I'm losing y'all, but this is the reason why people cannot manage their money because they, they can't do numbers. It's, it's hard for people like it really, cause it really shouldn't be that hard to do basic math. Right. But if you want to save a hundred dollars out of each check, so now you only got 400 to play with. Do you see what I'm saying? So I think, but I think y'all get the point, right? So what this does is it lets you know, Hey, uh, my first check, I got about 500 to save. That's not a lot. Keep it real. Between gas, a little out to eat here and there, a, a feel on your nails. Maybe you might have bought something from Shein. Um, plus, you want to save a little bit. That means, hey, I can't really do a lot that first two weeks with my check. I'm going to have to lay low. But then the second week, stay with me, the second week, you only got to pay 200 out of your check. So this lets you know, okay, now that second uh, paycheck out the month, I could do some things, right? If your check $2,500 and you only got to pay $200, now you're working with $2,300, right? Now you can go ahead and buy you some new clothes, buy you a plane ticket, do a couple of the other things that you wanted to do. You see what I'm saying? But unless you got this visual, you won't realize that. You see what I'm saying? So a budget is very, very, very important. I'm telling you, it will keep you on track. It'll make sure that you don't miss payments. I know a lot of people uh, use auto pay, but the reason is because they they don't want to have to keep up with all these bills. They don't want to even have to sit here and figure it out. They don't want to miss the bill, right? But if you do it like this, and if every so then every time you get paid, you come to your budget, you say, okay, what needs to be paid, right? And, and what you do is you pay all your bills. When you get paid, you need to pay everything that you need to pay. When you get paid that first two weeks, you need to pay your rent and pay your car note. Get it out the way. Get the money out of your account. That way you don't have to worry about it. So that's what I'm saying. So if two days later, you literally break your leg and now you can't do nothing, you stuck at home, at least you know that your rent and car note is paid and you don't have to worry about that. Do y'all see what I'm saying? So I really, 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 really hope this helps somebody. This is a very basic view of what I'm saying, but I think y'all get the point. But like I said, I'm creating an extensive ebook that goes way more into depth. I'm going to have um, a template available that you can just use and insert your information. Um... To, to keep you on track, y'all, I'm telling you, more people need to do this, especially if you're on a fixed income. You only get paid one time a month. You need to know what all bills you have. So let's do this. I wish I had... It, so this is... Let me do... Let's do part... This, this is actually getting to be too long. So I'm going to save the rest of it, but y'all definitely check out my ebook. I'm going to have a lot of different tips and tricks in there in regard to saving and just getting your finances in order. And that's what we're going to be talking about, y'all, for the rest of the week. Um, or at least like the next two or three videos. Um, just so we can wrap up that piece. Because that's an important piece when you talk about getting your life in order. You got to get your finances in order, okay? And now is the time, y'all. I got a friend who she make like, she's like six figures, right? And she dreads doing her taxes, she hates doing her taxes because she always owe money. She just hates dealing with it. She hates um, getting the paperwork. She just hates doing it, period, right? But I've been doing her taxes for the last two or three years. And so, well, like the previous, she haven't done them in the past two years. 
but so but the last time i did it she finally reached out to me and she made her payment from like tax year 2020 or whatever but like it's little things like that that it's like you need to get your taxes filed you have to get your paperwork in order you, you see what i'm saying and a lot of people it it makes people have anxiety it's like they just don't want to deal with it. you got people who they don't they don't even want to log into their online banking and look at their balance if you cannot if you do not want to look at your balance you have a problem <laughs> You have a problem, but I'm here for you because we have to take back our power of our money. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes it's not even about how can I make more money. We need to, the reason some people can't make more money is because they can't even manage the money that they have. You're irresponsible with the money that you do have. You could have more money. Maybe you don't have to pay your bills late. You don't have to pay your bills late if you would get them in order and figure out, hey, that check that I'm finna get um, on the 12th, like, like for instance, let's say you get paid on the 12th, right? Let's say you get paid 12-12, right? And let's say you, but you don't have a bill. Let's say your car insurance is due on 12-21, right? But you don't get paid again. Until another two weeks, that'd be what? The um, 26. But let's say you don't get paid again until the 26. Common sense is going to tell you, what paycheck should you use to make this car insurance payment? This one, right? Right. But what I'm saying is people don't, unless you write it down and you really like have a budget and you have a plan you you could you you might spend all this money and then the 21st come and be like dang i don't get paid till the 26th now my insurance finna be late now i'm finna lapse now you finna lose your insurance because you're not prepared that's why it's important because you have to figure out when am i gonna pay this you have to know up front you can't wait until the 20th you broke, you $50 short because you spent all your money. Now it's the 20th and you hitting your pockets. You coming up short on your insurance. Now you calling, you calling around. Hey, let me get $50. I'm short on my insurance. But you got a job. Why are you short? Oh, uh, something came up. What? You had the money. I'll, I'll pay you back on. I get paid in a couple days, man. Let me get $50. Uh, uh, okay are y'all with me so that's it y'all when i told y'all we was gonna do vlog this is boot camp this is boot camp toya okay so uh y'all anyway i really hope y'all enjoyed this like i said stay tuned for my ebook like i said this is the the tip of the iceberg i'm gonna go into more details i'm gonna give y'all more tips i'm gonna give y'all the template that you can just use and i'm telling you it will help you it takes the thinking that way you don't have to think it's already there. The one that I have, I, I have January all the way through December. And anytime I get a new bill, I add it in there. That way, if some come up, I can look at my budget. Mm, can I afford that? Do I want to do that? Whatever the case might be, right? So like I said, y'all, um, thank you for tuning in. Y'all, make sure y'all like this video. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see y'all later. Bye.